Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day. What I wanted to show you today was how you can make an NPC that will have different dialogue every time you come up to interact with the NPC. So it's a really cool way to add immersion to your game and it's really easy to do. The first thing you do is you open up your map um, and you create a new event. Then we're going to use the left side of the event editor to choose an image for our event. The cool thing with this is you can um, do it with anything really. It doesn't have to be just dialogue. You can have a chest give out random items or an NPC give out random quests. You can use this for anything really. Um, so choose whatever you want. I'm just choosing a person for the sake of simplicity. On the right side here where it says contents we add um, a new line and what we're going to do is we're going to be working with variables and then conditional branches. So first we're going to assign a value to our variable that we're going to use. And you can name your variable whatever you want, name it something easy to remember, obviously, especially if you have tons of variables in your game. So I'm just going to name it RNG because that's basically what this variable is going to be. It's going to be a randomly assigned value, okay? So um, name your variable and assign it. And we're going to set this variable to be between a random value. It can be anywhere between one and three, not 32. <laughs> it, can be, it can be whatever number that you want, but um, just to make this tutorial shorter, I'm going to do it three. And so after you assign your variable, the next thing you're going to do is use a conditional branch right here under flow control. And so what we're going to do is essentially what happens if the variable equals one, what happens if the variable equals two, or what happens if the variable equals three. Does that make sense? So if RNG is equal to one, we will have the NPC say this. And then we can just copy this and paste it. Change the variable to be equal to two within the conditional branch and change the text to say something else. And then lastly, if RNG equals three, our NPC will say this. Um, so I'm just going to test this to show you that it does work. So one thing that you have to keep in mind is that before you interact with this event, remember that the variable isn't going to be set. It won't be set until you interact with this event. Um, so if you want this for every NPC, you're going to have to assign the variable for every single NPC that you do, which that can be kind of tiring, I understand. Um, one thing you could do is just copy and paste. Um, if you don't do this, um, what will happen is if this is gone, if there is no variable set, the event won't work at all. If you go to interact with you, it will just kind of glitch. It, it'll essentially just break your game and it won't be good. So always remember to assign that variable before the uh, with every NPC that you do. And you can even change it if you'd like. You can have this NPC have three different branches of dialogue and another NPC have five different branches. As long as you set that variable every time before the event starts. So I really hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching everybody.